I came in here. Oh, I love these lights coming on. I came in here and this was just too small. They're about a week and a half old, I think. And um, so the first thing that happens is they get uh, they get all of the, the feed out of those little feeders like that. They just they just peck it out like the, the big ones do in there. Peck it out and get it all over the floor. So then they start getting the water all over the place. They'll tump it over one way or another. And then the, stuff, the bottom starts turning hard and they poop on it and stuff. And it just gets nasty and stinks. So I actually had uh, my Walmart order that came in. Had a great big box. And I actually had a wire um, cage uh, piece that was just the exact size for this box so i came in here today and i did some some work around on it and i put one of those um dog food uh, bag you know the plastic ones underneath all of that and then uh gave them bigger i put i, I raised their their water up and didn't put very much um sawdust well, it's, it's chips around it because they get it packed in with water and uh, I mean with with chips and then it makes a, a really big mess and they can't get to it and then I put this on here it's it's far enough from the cardboard it's not going to hurt anything and it's far enough from the from the light over here it's not going to hurt anything and then I, I put there I know they get really scared when you touch anything in here so I hung hung their food, and that's easy for them to jump up there. And I got them a big thing of water. Let's see if I can get that to focus. Give them a big thing of water, and they're over here underneath the, the light, so they're a little bit chilly today. It's not really that cold, but when you when you lift this thing, they're, they're scared too, because they have a new environment that they're not used to. So it'll take them a little while, and then they'll start running around like crazy again, and there won't be any any fear until I come around and start trying to mess with them and fix their water or their, or their food. I've got their food where I can just um, put it in the in the top of the, the feeder from the outside and not have to move around too much with the water. It's not like that. You have to pull it out and move it in and out. Now, when they come from the um, hatchery, they normally uh, give them their little shot. Well, if they give them their shot, you do not give them um, medicated food because that's what the medicated food is for. So when you go to where I go to get my, my food, which is still water milling, this, this baby scrap, this baby food is what I call it. It's, it's, uh, what, it's everything they need when they're brand new babies. You don't feed it to them after they, after they grow up. But this is um, not medicated. So if you, if you feed them medicated food after you have their shots, it's going to null out the shots. So there's really no sense in paying the extra money <clears throat> for the medicated food. But my, um, my uh, well, um, what is it called? Uh, Stillwater Milling, my feed store, um, doesn't sell any medicated baby chick feed. It's all unmedicated. So that way you know that you don't have to worry because they won't, won't get coccidiosis because they've got the um, they've got the shots from the from the hatchery. Now, if you have your if you raise your own chicks, you probably need to go ahead and, and feed them medicated uh, food in the very beginning because all it does is protects them from coccidiosis. It's not anything that's, that's harmful to them or to 